strength extends beyond the gym. I am a powerlifter, firefighter, and captain of the Muslim Militia. I'm Jason Wee. During today's workout, we are training chest, and the goal of today's workout is to build some mass and strength simultaneously. The benefits from this workout is to really get your body used to working under a heavy weight load and experience the lower reps so that you can really tear up the muscle, get the blood pump in there, and really build some serious mass to your chest area. This workout consists of six different exercises, four compound movements, and two isolation exercises to finish off your chest workout. This workout should take no longer than 60 minutes with no longer than a minute to two minutes in between each set. This first exercise is the machine fly. It's basically to warm up your pectoral muscles to really get into some heavy movements later on in the workout. It consists of three sets of 15 reps from lightweight to medium weight and you really want to concentrate on the stretch and the contraction at the beginning and end of the movement to really get the blood pumping in the pectoral muscles. With working out the chest, I'm really big into warm-up sets. I picked the machine fly movement to warm up because it really isolates the pectoral muscles and really gets the blood pumping and gets my body ready to really lift some heavy weight. The first exercise is the barbell flat bench and I'm using the pyramid method, starting with four sets for ranging from a rep range from 10, eight, six, and four. And really on your last set, you really want to try to really push it from three to four reps. I always like to lay flat on the bench with the arch in my lower back, keeping my feet under me and really pushing through the heels so you concentrate all on the power of pushing with your pectoral muscles. The flat bench pretty much is your meat and potatoes for your pectoral muscles. It works your upper and lower chest and your shoulders and triceps at the same time. The second exercise is the barbell incline. I like to use this movement as my second exercise because it's another compound movement. It really lets you move some heavy weight and really tear up the muscle. Again, also as like the flat bench. And I use here three sets and you want to get any range from 10 to 6 reps. Really your first set, you really want to get around the 9 to 10 range. And your last set really force the reps out from anywhere to, from 5 to 6. During this second exercise, you really are feeling fatigued, but you don't want to sacrifice form and do as much weight as your body can handle. All right, with the third exercise, we're doing a dumbbell flat bench. Again, another compound movement, and we're doing another pressing exercise because we're really concentrating on building mass and strength in your chest. And this is another exercise that really concentrates on working your upper and your middle of your chest. With the dumbbell flat bench, we are more concentrating now on using stabilizer muscles that we didn't get to use with the barbell incline and the barbell flat bench. This again is another movement that's going to help you really build some massive strength to your chest. With the dumbbell flat bench, I really try to concentrate on really getting the stretch at the bottom of the movement and then really concentrate on stretching and contracting my chest at the top of the movement. That way you're getting the maximum blood flow to the chest area. With this exercise, we're doing a superset and we're really concentrating on uh, two isolation movements. We are starting with dumbbell flies and then we are moving straight into dips to failure. On this exercise, we're really concentrating on doing four sets of six to 10 reps. When you're actually performing the fly, you're really concentrating on getting a deep stretch at the bottom of the movement. And then when I'm coming up, I like to rotate my wrists in and that way contracting the chest and really getting a good squeeze at the top. On the dip section of the superset, I really like to concentrate on keeping my body leaning forward. This keeps emphasis on the pectoral muscles. With this last section of the workout, you really want to give it every last effort that you have. Your pecs should already be full of blood and super pumped. So you just got to concentrate, dig deep, and finish strong. That's it for this workout. All the details are described on the page below. If you have any questions about this workout, you can always contact me on BodySpace, IG, or Facebook at jwe 54 or you can find me on the TwinLab website, twinlab.proseries.com. For more videos like this from the Muscle Militia, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com.